follow YouTube, so if you follow any other Harry Potter fans on YouTube or if you keep up with what the HPA is doing, you probably know about this whole Warner Brothers Harry Potter chocolate situation going on. But for the handful of you who don't, I'll catch you up. The Harry Potter Alliance ages ago started this campaign to try to get all of the licensed chocolate within the Harry Potter franchise to come from sources that support sustainable farming and fair labor practices. That sounds totally reasonable, right? Well, one would hope. More often than not, the chocolate we eat comes from sources that allow child labor, trafficking, and even slavery to happen freely. The really sad part is that not only is your chocolate probably made by the hands of someone under the age of 10, but that child has probably never tasted chocolate themselves, nor have they probably been given the opportunity to read Harry Potter. How can companies like Wonka Chocolate or any chocolate with Harry Potter's name on it feel good about what they're doing knowing that these products are made in the name of books written for children? I feel like there's a level of loyalty that these companies owe to children and to the people who buy their products. And with that comes a level of transparency that I feel is really important in situations like these. Especially when companies like Warner Brothers, who make chocolate frogs and other Harry Potter licensed candy, have received an F in human rights by free to work. When approached by my friend and the head of the HPA, Andrew Slack, Warner Brothers insisted that they have their own report that proves their chocolate to be A-OK, -okay, but they won't show it to anybody. Huh. But if they're clean and they have the evidence to prove it, especially to dedicated Harry Potter fans who care about the well-being of the people who make our chocolate, why wouldn't they show it to us? Accio report! Accio report? Ac oh, forget it. It kind of sounds to me like this report might not actually exist, but there's only one way to know that for sure, and that is to see the report. And that is what the HPA is trying to do. If you care about where Harry Potter chocolate comes from at all, please take a minute out of your life to go to showustherreport.com and sign the petition that already has over 16,000 signatures of dedicated Harry Potter fans. I know that Harry Potter chocolate makes up a very small percentage of the wealth of problems there are with the food industry, but we have to start somewhere. Maybe we can't end child slavery altogether, but we can at least get Harry's name out of it. As Dumbledore once said, it's important to fight and fight again and keep fighting for only then can evil be kept at bay, though never quite eradicated. In the meantime, if you're interested, the Harry Potter Alliance are selling their own fair trade chocolate frogs, which you can get for a limited time. They even come with a collectible wizard trading card. Harry Potter fans will never stop fighting to uphold the values that these books taught us at a very young age. I hope you'll join too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.